An investigation people continue to talk about. Missouri students physically restrained or forced into isolation thousands of times. Fox Files investigator Mitch McCoy is here now. And Mitch, you found potential problems with the way the state tracks these techniques and that puts the spotlight on schools. You're absolutely right, Mandy. Good evening to you. Good evening, everyone. We've been talking about this list since my second day on the job mm -hmm. when we first started talking about restraint and seclusions in Missouri schools. The report we have now lists hundreds and hundreds of districts, including one of Missouri's largest St. Louis public schools. But even with the state's list literally in hand, Fox 2 is finding conflicting stories. There's nothing like getting a document requested under Missouri Sunshine Law that the state said did not exist 24 hours prior. Accountability is important and, um, you know, it's a school. Here it is, though, all eight pages sent by the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education after Fox 2 requested an interview about why it didn't allegedly have said document. The state lists 359 public school districts and charter schools for not reporting any type of physical restraint or forced isolation known as seclusion on a student this school year. Among those listed, St. Louis City. But Fox 2 has learned that's not totally accurate. A spokesman for St. Louis Public Schools says it's in the process of reporting 11 cases of restraint and reports to the state have been slowed by complications with the portal the state has in place to receive information. Shailen Fox's son has post-traumatic stress disorder and has been forced to isolate at school before. He had been so excited. We had worked all week on you need to behave and you're going to get to wear your pajamas and you need to keep yourself calm and keep your body calm so that you can do these things and they just he got off the bus and they put him in to a room all by himself where he she was told about it by her son days later. Advocates worry students with disabilities are more likely to be restrained or secluded. Even when it's important for safety, it's terrifying for them. In March, Fox 2 found more than 1800 students have been physically restrained 6385 times, 775 students secluded nearly 5100 times. Schools are required to report these incidents to the state, but only one third have apparently done so, which retired educator Julia Galuzzo calls problematic. That's cause of concern to dive into it a little deeper. Fox 2 reached out to some other local schools on the state's list and found problems. District leaders say they submitted numbers months ago and didn't know why the state would have them on this list. Now over at the special school district of St. Louis County, it says it found a reporting gap with nine of its 22 partner districts after Fox 2 reached out, writing in part, quote, with our partner districts, we will work with DESE to ensure that the data is updated and accurately reflected in DESE's system. There may be an emotional need not being reached because we don't even have the data to support what's occurring with these kids it is terrifying. For a document that didn't exist days before, there's certainly a cloud of confusion. That there is a spokeswoman for Desi says the list they sent us was last updated on April 10th, but the school district that we spoke with say they sent reports back in November and December. Desi says schools should contact them directly if they're having issues reporting incidents of restraint and seclusion. For the Fox Files, I'm Mitch McCoy.